Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics lecture. Today's topic is Gauss divergence theorem. This topic is from fifth unit vector calculus. Now, see what is the statement of Gauss divergence theorem. Gauss divergence theorem states that states that the surface integral of the normal component of a vector point function f bar over a closed surface S is equal to the volume integral of the divergence of f bar taken throughout the volume v enclosed by the surface s enclosed by the surface s means in gauss divergence theorem surface integral is connected to volume integral see what is the statement of gauss divergence states that the surface integral means double integral of normal component of vector point function f bar normal component of vector point function f bar over a closed surface s means del f bar dot n cap normal component of a vector point function is f bar dot n cap ds over a closed surface s is equal to the volume integral means triple integration of the divergence of f bar divergence of f bar del dot f bar taken throughout the volume v enclosed by the surface s in gauss divergence surface integral is connected to volume integral surface integral uh, of surface integral of the normal component of a vector point function f bar means double integration f bar dot n cap n cap is the normal unit normal to the surface s and normal component of a vector point function f bar is f bar dot n cap yes for a closed surface s is equal to the triple integration volume integral means triple integration uh, equal to the volume integral of the divergence divergence of f bar means del dot f bar into dv where v is enclosed by the throughout taken throughout the volume v enclosed by the surface s so this is the formula of gauss divergence here it is surface integral is connected to volume integral now see the example on gauss divergence evaluate surface integral xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap dot dot ds bar dot ds bar means n cap into ds or the surface of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1 sphere of radius 1 therefore gauss diver by gauss divergence theorem here double integration r bar dot ds bar because f bar is here actually surface integral is or s is f bar dot n cap f bar is here this vector if we compare the given double integration surface integral with the double integration in the formula then n cap ds means ds bar so ds bar is equal to n cap ds and what about f bar f bar is this bracket term xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap it is nothing but the position vector r bar so we can write this term as r bar r bar dot ds bar so by gauss divergence theorem surface integral integration double integration r bar dot ds bar is equal to triple integration uh, see in the formula triple integration del dot f bar now we are in place of f bar there is r bar position vector xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap so it is del dot r bar into dv so double integration r bar dot ds bar is equal to triple integration del dot r bar to dv okay so it is equal to now you know that the rhs term triple integration del dot r bar del dot r bar it is equal to 3 this is the vector uh, identity that del dot r bar is 3 we have discussed vector quantities in previous lectures and there we have discussed that del dot r bar is equal to 3 so it is the standard vector uh, identity del dot r bar is 3 so the triple integration 3 dv now triple integration dv means volume of the sphere and its radius is 1. Now the formula of the uh, volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 into pi r cube. r is 1. Radius is 1. So 1 cube. So 4 by 3 into pi. 1 cube is 1. And the 3 is a constant term here. Del dot r bar is 3. So this 3 is a constant term. It is 3 into 4 by 3 into pi. 3, 3 get cancelled. So it is equal to 4 pi. So this is your answer. 4 pi is your answer. The second question is here. Use Gauss divergence theorem to evaluate surface integral xi cap plus yj cap plus z square k cap 
dot ds bar here where s is the surface is the surface bounded by x square plus y square is equal to 4 and z is equal to 0 z is equal to 2 now here f bar is equal to xi cap plus yj cap plus z square k cap okay this is the, the value of f bar now del dot f bar i am going to use uh, gauss divergence so del dot f bar is equal to you know the operator del the value of del and f bar is this given vector so derivative of x with respect to x is 1 derivative of y with respect to y is 1 derivative of z square with respect to z is 2z so it is 2 plus 2z so therefore by gauss divergence theorem this is gauss divergence theorem this is the formula now del dot f bar its value is 2 plus 2z dv means dx dy dz three variables now uh, how to find the limits the limits of z are z are given z is equal to 0 to 2 it is given in the example Where s is the surface bounded by the circle x square plus y square is equal to four, and z the limits of z are z is equal to zero to two. So the limits of z is z is z is equal to zero to two. So you uh, integrate first with respect to z, so that we can find the integration with respect to z. So here two plus two z two is common. So remaining term is one plus z, and so uh, the uh, integration of one plus z is integration of z is integration of 1 is z plus integration of z is z square by 2 and the limits are 0 to 2 for z into dx dy now the 2 is constant so write down 2 as it is double integration upper limit is 2 so put z is equal to 2 2 plus 2 square means 4 2 plus 4 upon 2 4 upon 2 means 2 so 2 plus 2 when we put lower limit 0 Z is equal to zero. So lower after putting lower limit, we are getting zero. So the next term is zero. So only positive terms are here. Only uh, fine. Sorry, non-zero terms are here. Two plus two to the x divided. Two plus two is four. Four two is eight. So eight into double integration the x divided. Now what is this double integration the x divided? It is the area of the circle x square plus y square is equal to four. Now this is the circle of radius two. So the area of circle. Formula is pi r square. The value of r is two. So pi into two square. Two square four. Four eight four is thirty two pi. So your answer is here thirty two pi. Okay. So here the value of the double integration is thirty two pi. Value of the double integration x i cap plus y j cap plus z square k cap in dot d s bar. So value is thirty two pi. So Here we discuss Gauss divergence theorem with few examples on Gauss divergence. Gauss divergence theorem it gives the relation between surface integral and volume integral. So here this uh, Gauss divergence theorem and these few examples are over here. This topic is over here. The fifth unit. All topics are covered. All topics of vector. integral are also covered so this unit is over here thank you